in the last episode we discussed some common myths about meditation these myths are in our mind from so long which holds us back to learn basic fundamentals for meditation if you didn't watch that episode yet i highly recommend go there and check that one first before watching this one i'm going to attach the link in the description box you can go and watch from there great in this episode we are going to understand how our emotions feelings and behavior trigger our daily life and how our daily life triggers our emotions feelings and behaviors so before moving further first of all i want to share four questions those four questions will determine whether you should continue to watch this episode or not whether this episode can benefit you or not let's go so question number 1 are you living the life which you want to live i repeat again are you living the life which you want to live question number 2 is your monday morning the same as your friday evening tricky question i repeat again is your monday morning the same as your friday evening question number 3 do you smile 50% or more than 50% in your day do you smile 50% or more in a day question number 4 do you feel energetic most of the time do you feel energetic most of the time if your answer is no for any of these questions then something is missing my friends that something is the source of everything and why this one is missing from your life the answer is in your daily activities what you are doing in a day how you are feeling what are the activities you are doing correct come on we will look at it together Hey friends my name is rajnish i'm a meditation coach and human potential trainer first we will discuss about our lifestyle we are living in the golden age the age which was dreamed so long by our ancestors they put so much effort to look this kind of world today we got all kind of comforts we got a beautiful houses great cars variety of clothes all kind of foods gadgets to entertain and better communication tools but somehow peace and happiness are missing working culture has drastically changed from the last 20 to 30 years now one skill or one talent is no more enough market require multi skilled and the multi talented persons businesses are transforming from local to global physical presence in the workplace becomes optional so no doubt there is so many benefits of it but some drawbacks as well stress tension anxiety depression these are the new normals anxiety disorder is one of the most common illness in mental health in the us only there are more than 40 million adults are suffering from anxiety disorder this is a data from adaa anxiety and depression association of america there are so many disorders which you might not have heard of said said is one of the disorder social anxiety disorder and these are very these are very common in men and women over age 13 sleeping pattern has been changed people are unable to sleep in night they depends on the pills eating habits we are not eating for our stomach we are eating for our emotions emotional eating physical exercise people start neglecting physical exercise they hardly walk for exercise honestly 
give the answer to yourself. Do you exercise at least five days a week? Do you sleep in less than 10 minutes when you are on the bed? Our emotions start controlling our mind. Meditation helps to observe these thoughts and feelings and utilize them for our better lives. Research also proved meditation practice improves the sleeping patterns, eating habits, and the awareness of physical and mental wellness. Next reason is over desires. Nowadays, everyone is running to acquire more, more houses than need, more money than need, more gadgets than need, more cars than need. There's a very fine line between need and greed. Acquiring more is not the problem, but putting all focus and attention to acquire more is the problem. This is an unhealthy mindset, which unbalances our physical, mental, financial, emotional, and spiritual relationship. Money becomes more dominant. Money, don't get me wrong, money is very important in life. This is the lifeline. But its value is same as fuel for a car. No less, no more. Suppose you go to a fuel station, fill your car and store some extra fuel in it. Then go to the next fuel station, again store some extra fuel and start looking the another fuel station and again store extra fuel. So there is no more room left in your car, only fuel. You don't have much room for your important persons in your life, important things in your life. Unfortunately, many people are living this kind of life. They are not living the life completely. They are not enjoying it. They are not looking the other aspect of the nature. And meditation? Meditation helps to teach the law of abundance. Means there is enough for everyone on this planet. No need to rush. No need to become selfish. It teaches us the law of compassion. Means treat others how you want them to treat you. Self-love and love for others. Another reason is mental chaos. We are living in the information age where every information is available on tip of our finger. Many of us spending time watching TV, watching news, WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, reading newspaper, magazine and assuming that we are becoming more knowledgeable. Is that is knowledge? No, this is mere information. We are becoming more informative and 80 to 90% of that information we are not going to apply in our whole lifetime. But still we keep feeding it. Our mind is becoming more clutter. Let's assume when you open so many files and folders on your computer or so many apps on your mobile, then what happens? Its processing speed reduced and sometimes freeze. The same phenomena happens to our mind. Our mind stops focusing on the true north of our lives and stops to make decisions and then stops to take actions and if no action means no results pretty simple so meditation meditation helps us to sort the stored information and provide clarity what information is important for us how to acquire it when to acquire it how much is enough and how to use it in our equation how great it is another reason is scattered focus let's do one exercise could you please speak from letter a to letter j a for apple and j for joker a bit faster great could you please count 
from 1 to 10 a bit faster wonderful now could you please speak one letter and one number together like a1 b2 c3 up to j10 a bit faster come on i'm listening you what happened have you observed how your processing speed reduced why is that we know numbers we know alphabets then why we are not able to speak it together because our conscious mind not subconscious mind our conscious mind does one task at a time if we mix and match together then its processing speed reduce and with the reduced processing speed we are not able to achieve highest potential we are not able to achieve the great things in the life our focus is keep jumping from one task to another from one thought to the another and that's how our focus and energy scattered well i believe you might have done this experiment in your childhood when we put magnifying lens on a paper under correct sunlight for a period of time then what happens the paper starts burning but if we keep moving the magnifying lens or keep moving the paper what happens nothing nothing at all the same thing when we are keep putting our focus on one thing but not a period of time keep jumping from one task to the another one thought to the another we are not going to do great things meditation meditation helps us improving our concentration and focus and when we are going to put that concentrated focus on the desired goals and then take action then you are not going to get results trust me you are going to get miracles in your life if your life is having any of these challenges then you have a reason why to meditate reason for any action is very important if you don't have a reason then you will do it for a season watch this video again and again until you will get the correct reason now you understood the common myths you understood why to meditate in the next episode we are going to learn what is meditation all about is it a concept tool is it a technique is it a philosophy it's a mindset or it's a lifestyle or everything we are going to deep dive in that topic and learn it together i wish everyone peace joy and abundance of success in your life stay active and keep smiling namaste